You know, our team coverage continues right now with Fox Carolina's Alexa Erbach and Carrie Veal. Let's start with Carrie now. And I know you spoke with a local business owner after part of his office building was destroyed by a giant tree. Take us through what happened there, Carrie. Yeah, Tori, that business owner tells me he was here just 15 minutes before this tree came down. And he's so happy that nobody was inside this building when the tree fell. If you take a look behind me, you can really see the damage. This tree was completely covering the building, and now you can see some of it has been shaved away. Again, nobody was hurt. This is the office for Muncaster Financial Group. So it's an uh, office that the owner tells me they would use not only for clients, but sometimes they would treat their clients. Uh, maybe the night before a concert, they would let them come here and hang out. Now we have some video of what it looked like earlier. You can really see the size of this tree and how it was engulfing the building, making parts of it collapse. I spoke with the business owner earlier today. Honestly, couldn't believe it. Uh, I was told a tree had fallen on the house. I knew which one, knew the size of it. Never could have imagined the damage and devastation that it, that it caused. The damage upstairs is extensive. The ceiling is separated from the walls. There's, the floors are soaking wet, um, cracks throughout. The ceiling's gonna fall at any moment, probably when they go to pull the tree off. Now, this wasn't the only building that was damaged. If you take a look right here, you can see this is another tree that fell on a home on this street. So there's a lot of trees down, a lot of cleanup to be done. The owner says, considering that we have more bad weather on the way, they are concerned. They plan to secure and tarp down as much as they can of this building until tomorrow afternoon. Now, coming up at five o'clock, I spoke with some people who own a business just down the street. They were here when that tree fell down, so I'll have their interview coming up at five o'clock. Reporting live in Greenville, Fox Carolina, Carrie Beal. Pettigrew a Historic District there right by the well East North Street really getting hit hard, Carrie. A lot of those old trees just couldn't withstand um, all the winds we saw last night. So hopefully cleanup continues and it's quick for those businesses, Carrie. Thank you. And we